How's it going guys? My name is Tyler Jackson. I'm a computer technician and today I'm gonna walk you through a simple video on how to restore your Windows 10 um, computer, laptop, or desktop tower. So first off, I wanna talk about these four points I have on the screen. Uh, why do I need to restore my system? It's important to restore your system if you're having troubles or if you're giving the computer to somebody else to use. Second, what symptoms should I look for? Now, if your computer is being slow or it's acting sluggish, that's a good indication that it needs to be restored. Also, for other issues such as driver issues with sound or video, a restore might fix the problem. Now, how do I restore my computer? I'm gonna show you that now. So, I'm gonna use this desktop computer I have here as an example, okay? So I'm gonna close out of this window. And then I'm just gonna to go to the sign out screen. So, every time you boot up this computer, you will see this screen, and it's where you log into the computer, as you can see. Now, from this screen, you'll see that it's got the user here, and we can sign in, but we don't want to sign in. What we're going to do, we're going to hold the shift key on the keyboard right here. And as we hold the shift key, we want to navigate down to the power button down here in the bottom right hand corner. And we want to select restart while holding the shift key. You'll see please wait and we'll wait for a few seconds and it should take us to a blue troubleshooting screen like this. Now, once you get to the screen, it's real simple and easy. You want to click troubleshoot. And then you see you have an option up here that says reset this PC. We'll click that. And then it's going to ask you if you want to keep my files or remove everything. Now, you want to remove all your files so you're making sure that you're not leaving anything on the computer. So we're going to click remove everything. And then the screen's going to go black and it's going to boot you back up to that blue screen momentarily. Now, once your computer boots back up, you'll come to a screen that looks like this. Now, it's asking you what type of download you want to do for the Windows system. We want to do a local reinstall, so it reinstalls the operating system on the drives. If you give it a second, it's going to give you some options here in a second after it loads. Alright, so now it's going to ask us, do we just want to remove our files again or fully clean the drive? We want to hit just remove my files. You do not want to hit fully clean my drive because this will take about almost eight hours. Um, it takes forever, but we'll just click just remove my files. And we'll wait for a second here for the computer to calculate its thoughts. And then we want to click reset. And then what you do is you just go ahead and sit your mouse and keyboard down and let the computer go through the restore process until it goes to the setup screen. All right, so now we have a laptop here that just finished the restore process and it's now at the setup menu. And I actually want to walk you guys through on how to set up this computer um, once you're finished with the restore process. So you want to first select your region. Um, I am from the United States, so we're going to select the United States. Your keyboard is set to US. Want to stick with that? Okay, so it's asking for a right keyboard layout. Uh, we don't exactly need that. And first thing I'm going to do is turn down this audio here because uh, Cortana is a little loud. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and click uh, US to keep the uh, keyboard layout the same. Now, they're going to want to see if we want to add a secondary keyboard layout. We do not want to do that, so we're going to hit skip. Okay, so now as you can see, it wants to connect to a network. So uh, most people would connect this to their uh, Wi-Fi if their Wi-Fi was available. Now, if you connect this to your Wi-Fi, Microsoft is going to require you to sign in with a Microsoft account. If you do not have a Microsoft account, the best way to get around that is to hit that you don't have internet here in the bottom left hand corner, which is what we're going to select. And then it's going to ask us again, are you sure that you don't have internet? And we're going to do continue with limited setup. Then as you can see, we have the Windows 10 license and agreement terms. We'll just go ahead and agree to those. And then you're going to type in a username for your computer. I'm just going to call this user as an example. Say so you can set a password on the computer. If you don't want any password on your computer, you just leave it blank and just hit the enter key to go next. And then you have a few other little settings here. Uh, choose privacy settings for your device. I'm just going to hit accept uh, for default settings. Cortana wants to be on. We'll hit accept. And then once to register and protect, you don't have to do that. You can just go ahead and click next again. And then let's click next one last time. And then as you can see, you finish the setup process. And then once it gets done getting ready, you should be at the desktop screen with your uh, Windows computer. So hopefully this helps you guys on how to uh, restore and reset your uh, Windows 10 device. Have a great day.